Hello my gorgeous babes out there and welcome. In today's video, I thought I would show you guys what is in my makeup travel bags. Yes, I said bags because I like to have a lot of options when I am traveling, but I thought I would also put on the makeup and create a look as well. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. So if those are things that you like to watch, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, Let's get into this video. All right, guys, I got a little closer because so I want to just dive into this makeup look because I look like a hot mess. I look so rough. I'm so tired. Like these past couple weeks have been rough. I think I mentioned in one of my videos that Sushi, my cat, got sick. And then shortly after that, my cat Samba ended up getting sick and she was really, really sick. We were worried about her because it just hit her so much harder than it hit Sushi. So we've been dealing with two sick cats and then I was feeling sick. And then I've been just running around trying to like prep for this trip as well as working. So I am just ready to get away. I'm ready for some sleep. I need a break. I need to just have a moment to myself. So let's just get into these makeup bags. I have this one from Udentai. This was released when they did the Saga of Freya collection. I don't think they have this anymore on their website, but it's such a good bag. It has like a place where you have brushes. It also came with like a like plastic bag insert too, but I'm actually not using it. And then here's all of my makeup. And the first thing I wanna grab is some primer. So this is the primer I'm gonna take with me. I actually haven't had this very long, but I think it's like a perfect size. I mean, it is a travel size. This is from Milk Makeup. I did just use this in another get ready with me on my channel. And it definitely makes your face so sticky. So I was like, that's perfect. Cause I need my makeup to last, especially if I'm gonna be like out all day, like, you know, seeing stuff, sightseeing and all that. I want to make sure my makeup will actually, you know, stay on my face and grip to it. I'm also bringing two foundation kind of skin tint products with me. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Makeup. I love this. It's more of a, like a matte finish, but it has more of like a, like I guess a light medium to medium coverage and it's super lightweight. And when I travel, I like my makeup to be very lightweight. I don't like to wear heavy makeup. And then I'm also bringing the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Skin Tint. So this one is more of a hydrating product, but it's also more sheer, very comfortable, lightweight on the skin. And I'm going to a relatively cold place, Ireland, and I like to wear hydrating products like more when the weather is cold. So I'm actually gonna use this one in the video because I've used this quite a bit in like other videos. And this is the shade 6.5. Hopefully this works for me because I need a tan really bad. I'm gonna use this dirty foundation brush and I'm just gonna squeeze it on there. I think that's a good amount. I think that will work for me. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. It's just really nice and creamy. And like, it just spreads on. And then I'm only bringing one concealer. I don't need a whole rack of concealers. I'm actually gonna bring the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I actually really like this. And I think like the packaging is super travel friendly. I try not to bring anything that has any glass packaging. And this is pretty small and compact. And I try to think about the size of the products too, cause I try to fit as much as I can and I don't want like bulky stuff. So I was like, this is actually perfect and like exactly what I want. Like I love squeezy to packaging. I think it's just so easy to travel with stuff like that. So bringing this because a lot of my concealers have like glass packaging or they're kind of big and bulky. And this is actually really nice. It's super lightweight. And this is like a perfect concealer to go with like lighter, more like, you know, skin tint, effortless, radiant makeup. And then I'm going to bring two powders with me. I'm gonna bring the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass Powder and Banana. I'm trying to use this up and I've been like just using this religiously. So I'm gonna bring this with me. I always need a setting powder just to keep things intact, keep my makeup, you know, set all day, especially if I'm gonna be out and about, I want my makeup to not get all, you know, funky and shiny because I do have oily skin. So I always bring a setting powder with me. 
I'm also bringing the Nabla Close-Up Smoothing Pressed Powder in Medium. I always bring a pressed powder with me too because I like to bring it with me when I'm out like sightseeing and doing a bunch of stuff in case I get like shiny throughout the day. I want to be able to touch up and sometimes when you're on a trip, you're gone all day. You don't know when you're going to get back to the hotel room. So I like to keep this in my purse so i always have a pressed powder as well so now the bronzer that i'm bringing so i'm bringing the kaleidos charisma contour palette i really like this little guy i've talked about this before but this has a bronzer a contour and like a highlighting powder so it has like everything i need and it's like all in one and i actually like the tones a lot and this palette i think it's perfect for me so but you know what, I'll just bring this. It's nice and small and compact. Like I said, I like to try to bring as small as products as I can, like with smaller, less bulky packaging, just so I have more space to, you know, fit everything in. And then I also am bringing both of these. I couldn't pick between the two. These are both from Pat McGrath. This is the one from the Bridgerton collection. This is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio at Love at First Blush. And then I'm also bringing the Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. I thought the variety was perfect in these. They both have two blushes and two highlighters and they're in like different shades, different tones more pinky ones like more of a warm nudie one so i thought this would cover everything i need no matter like what look i do and then it has a highlighter in both one's more of a pinky one's more of a champagne highlighter so then it also covers me for highlighters so i'm bringing both of these okay i could not pick so i think what blush do i want to use in this one today i think maybe i'm going to use this one this one is called nymphette what a weird name so i'm gonna use that it's kind of like a like a cool tone pink but these are so beautiful i've talked about these these are like top five for me when it comes to blushes like this formula they blend so nice they kind of just go right into the skin and they all have like a little sheen like do you see that it almost makes you look like you had just have this natural glow to your cheeks and then i think i'm gonna go into the highlighter in the other one I think this is the one that's more champagne and I just think champagne like highlighters can just go with everything it's kind of like a standard highlighter that can go with like you know a warm or cool tone look so I love that that's in here and like look how beautiful and glowy that is oh such a beautiful highlighter formula too so these are going to cover me for highlighter and blush I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be glowing on my trip. So now let's do my brows. So I'm gonna actually bring the GXVE brow pencil from the Gwen Stefani line. This is the Hella On Point. I'm just obsessed. Like I've been using this so much. I've already used this in two videos because I just love the formula. This is so easy to use. So I was like, you know what? I have to bring this on my trip. So I'm going to bring this one. The shade that I have is six, which I think is like, was described as like a brown black but i'm just gonna fill my brows out real quick and i will be right back okay i think my brows look pretty good i'm not really trying to be super precise today but this is the brow pencil that i'm bringing with me and then i'm also bringing the kosas brow gel i forgot what this is called the air brow i really love this brow gel and sometimes if i don't even feel like filling in my brows i'll just use this gel to run it through like the hairs it has a tint to it I think I have the shade brown black. So if I'm like really lazy on my travels, I'll probably just use the brow gel. But if I'm feeling like, you know, I want to be a little extra and a little bit more put together, then I'll probably fill them in with that brow pencil. But these are the two brow products that I'm bringing. For my eye primer, I'm bringing my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime. I really like this primer. It has a tint to it. It's also like top three of eye primers that I like really love and recommend if you want just a really good eye primer. So I'm gonna put that on because I need primer. Like I could not like not have eye primer with me. And a little goes a long way with this product and I just like the packaging. It's like a little too. It's now time to get into my other makeup bag, which I haven't even showed you guys yet. But this is my little Aloha bag. I got this for my brother, my sister-in-law. 
on my birthday, I think last year, and this fits my two big palettes perfectly. These are both from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, so I'm bringing the Dollhouse palette and I'm bringing the Surge palette, and I think I mentioned this in like other videos that I was going to bring these two, and I don't think I need anything else because this has me covered, like look at this, neutrals and like cool tones and stuff, and then this one has a bunch of color. So I'm going to, I think, just use the Surge palette because I recently used the Dollhouse palette in another video. So I wanna crack into this one again. It's been a while since I actually used this palette. So I'm thinking like I wanna do something with this brown and maybe something with this blue all over the lid. I feel like I wanna do an all matte look, which that like never happens. It rarely happens when I want to do an all matte look. So I think I'm going to start off with grunge. Yes, grunge. It's like a nice deep brown that kind of has a little bit of a reddish tone to it. And I'm just going to uh, put it on, smack it on my eyes, and focus that out here. I should have dusted off the excess. I'm having a little bit of fallout. But I did do a like review on this palette i think i did three looks in that video so if you want more look inspirations and stuff and you want to see like more of me like talking about it and like going in depth into the palette then check that review out i'll link it below i'll put it up in the corner so i feel like this shade is looking a little bit more plummy grunge but i want to use the shade called cut out to blend out the edges and kind of soften everything. All right, there we go. I actually brought the shade a little bit down on the outer corner at the bottom. So now I wanna go in with the all matte blue that I wanna use all over the lid. So I wanna go into the shade called Energy, which is kind of leaning to be like a neon blue, but I think that's gonna look beautiful, just kind of pressed all over the lid. I don't think I need a base, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna pack that on to the eye primer. Ooh, that's pretty. And just really stamp that. I'm gonna bring it up into the crease too. Oh yeah, that's such a beautiful shade. Now that grunge shade ended up looking more purple than anything, but that is fine. I was going for a brown blue look today, but this is also really beautiful. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it be because this is gorgeous. I wanna go into white hot right here and use that as my inner corner. I love using a matte white as an inner corner highlight. There's something so beautiful about just a nice bright white in the inner corner to just make things pop. You don't always have to use a shimmer. So I just, oh, I just love how versatile this palette is. And there we go, that is it for the look. All matte, I'm not even gonna add any shimmers anywhere. Normally I find no place to put some shimmer, but not this time. I'm gonna just stick to this, leave it alone. And now I did bring some liners, which I have a bunch of different options. So I have a white one, I have my fresh liner from LA Girl. I also am gonna bring my gotcha one, my green one, because I also love using this with so many looks. And then my Nabla Cupid's Arrow and number, what is this? Number four, it's a standard black. I love this. So I just wanted to have options because I like my liners. Like I love having like color down there, but I think, oh, I just poked myself. I think I'm just gonna use the white one. This is from ColourPop. This is the shade Exit. I'm gonna use this to go in the waterline, brighten things up. So there we go, the white liner is down and I love how it kind of mixed with the shadow and the lower lash line. Almost makes like a tinted like pastel color almost, but you can't go wrong with a white pencil. It can go with like any look. So I always bring one with me on a trip because if all else fails and I can't figure out what to do, I always have a white liner or I always have a black liner to go to. Then for a liner to like do my wings when I'm gone, even though I feel like I might be too lazy to actually like do wing liner and stuff on the trip, but if I want to, I'm gonna use this one. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Life Liner Quick and Easy. I've used this so many times on my channel and talked about this. So I'm gonna do my liner real quick. I'm gonna do it off camera. You guys don't need to see all that. And then I will be right back. Okay, my liner is done and I feel like my liner looks 
so terrible like they're at different angles but the more you try to fix your liner the worse it gets so i'm gonna leave it alone but i think it's just me today i just my head's not right <laughs> then for a mascara i'm just bringing my rare beauty mascara my tried and true this is actually a new one even though it looks kind of dirty but i picked this up during the sephora sale so i replaced the old one and now i have a new one ready for the trip brand new favorite mascara so i'm just gonna put that on quickly as well so the lashes are done i really love this mascara because it gives a lot of volume but it also gives length and it helps my lashes look really dramatic because i'm not bringing any falsies on this trip like i know i'm not going to take time to put on false lashes so i want a mascara that's going to make my natural lashes as dramatic as possible so this is a good one and i'm happy because it's a travel size so it's perfect to fit in my makeup bag and then now getting on to lips we're at the end here guys we're almost done with this video so i'm actually bringing all of my lip creams that i got from lethal cosmetics this formula is so nice i just tried this in a get ready with me and i was blown away it's like kind of a more like moussey lightweight texture it has like a soft matte finish so i'm bringing all four that i just bought because i thought hey these are all the shades that i could possibly need and then i'm also bringing at least one gloss this is from fenty this is one of their gloss bombs and cake shake a perfect little travel size and then i also have this lip balm that i'll probably use as like my lip mask at night this is from lys this is the glossy lip treatment oil it's a like small little deluxe sample so perfect for travel so those are all the lip products that i'm bringing on my trip i'm not even bringing lip liner because i barely use lip liner now and i know i'm not going to take the time while i'm traveling so i'm going to use one of these lippies maybe we should use the plum since this look ended up turning out to be more of a purple blue look not a brown blue look so this is the shade called tailwind and you guys will see like these are pigmented they glide onto the lips like just butter Ugh, oh, these are so nice. So there we go. Here's my lips. This looks so good with this look. And the reason why I'm bringing these lip creams is because they're lightweight. They're low maintenance. They fade very gracefully. So if I'm like out and I haven't been able to look at myself in the mirror, I don't want to have to like worry that my lips are looking messed up. And I just know that this is going to fade really nicely. And it's just going to end up looking more like a sheer tint as the day goes on. Anyways, guys, that was everything for this video. Those were all the products that I wanted to show you guys that i am bringing on my trip and my whole thought process of why i'm bringing all those products i think i'm going to be totally covered for my trip i'm going to have a lot of options i'm going to have so many different eyeshadows to work with i'm going to be able to create tons of looks with those two palettes so i'm very happy with my choices and i think this is going to fit with where i am going because it's going to be cold in ireland and even london's not going to be that warm so i think these are all going to work now if i was going somewhere more tropical i'd probably bring more like a matter find like super long wearing products and things more with like spf now i'll probably bring spf with me like in my like skincare bag but you know what i'm saying but guys i think i should wrap up the video because i'm tired i need to go get some rest because i do work tomorrow and i still have tons of things to do before i leave anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me for a little bit today and for being here and supporting my channel i really appreciate it and i just hope you guys are all doing well wherever you are in the world and i'm just sending you guys all so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.